Hi everyone and welcome to Germany for Student channel. Today is 39th lesson of A1 level of German language course and today we are going to talk about the topic of how to make questions in German language using W question words. There are different words which starts with W and they are called W question words and by using these W question words we can make sentences or we can make questions. So let's see what are these W question words and how we can ask questions using these W question words. So the first W question word I have listed here is wo. Wo means where. Wo ist the apotheke. Where is the medical store. Now in this sentence it starts with W question word wo and at the second position we have the verb which is conjugated according to the subject which is D apotheke. Now apotheke in German language is a feminine noun and it has an article D. So, wo ist the apotheke? Where is the medical store? Next is, wo ist der Markt? Where is the market? Again, very simple. First position, you start with the W question word. At second position, you have a verb which is conjugated according to the subject, which is at the third position in the sentence. So, wo ist der Markt? Where is the market? Next, we have Wo won't er. Where does he live? Now, in this sentence, again, you will see that we have a W question word at the first position. Then we have a verb called wonen, which is conjugated with respect to the subject, which is er. And if we conjugate wonen with respect to er, it will become won't. Wo won't er where does he live now next we have wo lernen sie deutsch where do you learn german here again at the first position we have wo which is the w question word then we have lernen which is a verb which is conjugated according to the subject of sentence which is z and if the subject of sentence is z lernen will remain lernen now which z we mean here here we are talking about the Z which is the second person formal because it is starting with a capital S. Therefore, it is the second person formal. Wo lernen Sie Deutsch? Now next W question word is Wohin. Now Wohin also means also where but there is a difference between Wo and Wohin. If you are asking about the location of something, if you don't find any a particular place or if you don't find any particular thing then you can ask about that particular location or that particular thing with the question word w but if you are asking where are you going then you have to use wohin so we will go through these example and then the uh, difference between wo and wohin will get clear wohin gehst du where are you going now here again Wohin is coming at the first position of the sentence. At the second position, you have a verb which is gehen, but here you have a subject do, therefore, you have to conjugate the verb at the second position with respect to the subject do, and with respect to subject do, gehen becomes gehst. Wohin gehst du? Where are you going? Next, we have Wohin fahren sie? Where are you traveling? Now here again, wohin is at the first position. At second position, we have a verb, fahren, which means to travel. And at the third position, we have a subject, which is Z. Now this Z is starting with a small letter. And this can be they, or it can be Z, which means she, third person, singular. But for they and she, both have different conjugation of verb. If we use the conjugation of fahren verb fährt, then it will be she. But if we use fahren as the conjugation of fahren verb, then it will be they. So, wohin fahren sie? Where are they traveling? Now, the difference between wo and wohin will be clear to you that if you want to ask about some or someone or some place 
that where is that particular place, where is uh, that particular uh, location, then you use the W question word wo. But if you are talking about going to somewhere or traveling to somewhere, then you have to use the W question word wohin. Now next we have was. Was means what. Was machen Sie. What are you doing? Now in this sentence again we have a W question word at the first position. We have a verb at the second position and we have a subject at the third position like the other uh, W question examples we have seen so far. Now what are you doing? Now here Z again is a second person formal because the conjugation of verb machen remains machen. Now the next example is was browse do. What do you need? Here again, W question word was is coming at the first position. Next, we have a verb called brauchen. Brauchen means to need or to require. And if we have a subject do, then we have to conjugate this verb at the second position with respect to this subject. And here the subject is do, therefore brauchen will become brauchst. Was brauchst do. What do you need? Now next we have was costed does. What does it cost? Now if you are in a market or and you do not know the price of anything, then you can use this question. Was costed does. What does it cost? Here again W question word comes at the first position. Second position we have a verb called costen which means cost. And it is conjugated with respect to third person singular and it becomes costed. So was costed thus. Next we have was essen z. What are they eating? Here again was comes at the first position. Then we have a verb called essen which means to eat. And it will be conjugated with respect to the subject which is z which means they here because here the S is a small one and it is uh, the conjugation of verb we are using is S. Therefore, it means that this Z means they. What are they eating? Next question word is where. Where means who. Where bis do. Who are you? Here again, the W question word come at the first position. At the second position, we have Zine verb which is conjugated with respect to the subject located at the third position and it becomes bist. We know this that the Zine verb has different conjugation for different subjects uh, or different personal pronouns and if the personal pronoun or subject is do then the um, conjugation of Zine is bist. Now if you want to use who are you for a second person formal? Then what will be the sentence? Where zind z? Because then the zind will be the conjugation for z of the verb sein. Next is where won't here? Who lives here? Now the next example is where kauft the Zeitung? Who buys the newspaper. Now in this sentence if you look at the sentence structure here is the first position which is um, which has the W question word where at the second position we have a verb called kaufen which means to buy and it is conjugated with respect to the third person therefore it has become kauft who buy the newspaper. Now because newspaper is being bought we are performing an action therefore it is the direct object of the sentence and we know that the direct object of sentence is the accusative case therefore we have to use the definite article of a feminine noun in accusative case which is B. So Saitung is a feminine noun and in accusative case the definite article for a feminine noun is B. Next is where schreibt den brief? Who write the letter? Now here again 
where is the W question word which comes at the first position. Then we have a verb called Schreiben which is conjugated with respect to the uh, third person singular and it becomes Schreibt. Now next we have Den Brief. Brief in German language means letter and it is a masculine noun. But here we are using the definite article den which means that uh, because we are performing an action on the letter, letter is being written, it is the object of sentence and the object of sentence is always accusative case and in accusative case we have to use den as the definite article for a masculine noun which is here brief. So that's why we have used den brief here. Next we have W question word one. One means when. One fahren wir nach Hause. When are we traveling to home? Now in this sentence again W question word come at the first position of the sentence. Next at the second position we have the verb which is conjugated with respect to the subject of sentence which is located at the third position. So for wir as a subject, the foreign will remain foreign and nach Hause to the home. We have learned already that if we are traveling to house, then we have to use the preposition nach, which is a dotted preposition. Next is one kaufs du den mantel. When are you buying the coat? Here again, one or the W question word is coming at the first position. At the second position we have verb which is conjugated with respect to the subject of sentence which is located at the third position and it becomes kaufst. So verb is conjugated with respect to the subject and then we have den mantel. When are you buying the coat? So because the coat is being bought or we are performing an action on the coat therefore it is the accusative part of the sentence because it is receiving an action and because it is the object of the sentence therefore we have to use accusative definite article for mantel. Mantel is a masculine noun therefore the masculine definite article for accusative case is den therefore we have used den mantel here. The last example is one kommt er. When is he coming? Now in this sentence again W question word come at the first position. At the second position we have the verb common which means to come which is conjugated with respect to er which is the subject of the sentence and subject of sentence comes here at the third position verb comes at the second position and w question word come at the first position and the verb is conjugated with respect to the subject of sentence therefore it becomes kommt when is he coming so these are the w question words which are very common and these are the questions that you must be able to um, ask or you must be able to know the structure of sentence how you can ask simple questions like this in A1 level. Uh, there are certain W question words which we will discuss in the next lesson. So there, the next lesson will be the continuity of this lesson where we will be discussing some more uh, W question words. So we will meet in the next lesson. Bye.